My name's Dale Upkeep, uniform expert and fashion genius. The Patriots, Jets, Beals, and Dolphins all look like poo-poo. I don't like them. So that inspired me. And my wife always says, Dale, if you don't have anything nice to say, then make a YouTube video about it. Let's see what I made. Up first, the New England Patriots. Their current look doesn't say Patriots, if you ask me. Let's start off with the logo. A flying Elvis. Uh -huh. We could do better. First, they're New England, so they should have something that invokes the original 13 colonies. Then if we're gonna go with a person for a logo, I don't think Elvis is the right choice. The clear answer here is Mel Gibson from the movie The Patriot. I'll take that as a compliment. The logo works perfectly on the helmet. No doubt who this team is. With the stars on the helmet, that leaves the rest of the uniform for stripes. Now that's patriotic right there. I also understand the importance of the Boston Tea Party to locals. So I wanted to give homage to that event with tea bags written on the front. That could also be the team nickname. Go Tea Bags! <coughs> Here it is from the back. To tie it all together, I also put Mel Gibson and the 13 stars on the socks. Now that is the look of a true patriot. Up next, the New York Jets. Jets? Was cars taken? Good child! I don't like it! I actually really like the Jets' original name, the Titans. So I think we should just change it back to the Titans. Now, New York Titans might be too many letters to fit on a helmet, but with the power of graphic design. Wimmo! It's fun, it's youthful, something about this word mark I just really like. Now, I can already hear you screaming at your greasy, fingerprint-covered screens. There's already a team called the Titans. I thought of that. The New York Titans will technically be called Titans 2. But Titans 2 ruins this beautiful word mark, so I gave them two footballs. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. Even looks better on the uniform. That says New York Titans 2, but super simplified and so sophisticated. I continue that two football look on the back of the uniform too. No matter what angle you look at them, Titans 2 coming at you! On to the Buffalo Bills. Really? These are supposed to be the Buffalo Bills? I don't get it. When I think Buffalo Bill, I think most people would agree with me that you think of Silence of the Lambs. I don't know of any other famous Buffalo Bill. So let's design a uniform based on him. For the helmet, I went with my favorite scene. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> this logo cleans and moisturizes. <laughs> For the jersey, I was inspired by the shawl that Buffalo Bill wears. So I made the whole jersey that pattern. For the pants, uh, he doesn't really wear pants. So I made him legs. For the socks, I kept with the fishnets and I continued that look up the pants. But this does get us into some issues with the back of the uniform, though. But I think the Bills will like this so much, they'll just overlook this part. For the jersey numbers, I wanted to keep with the theme. So I went with numbers cut out of magazines. Gives it that ransom note vibe. Same with the name on the back. You know, I think this is a real nice combination of new and old for the Buffalo Bills. A look fans can really rally behind. Last but not least, we have the Miami Dolphins. Uh, Dolphins? That's a great name for a swim team. But a football team in Miami? So Dolphins is out! If you say Miami, what is the next word you think of? Miami Beach. They should be called the Miami Beaches. For colors to go with the name, I was inspired by this beautiful coffee table book. Now, the best part is, it's so bright yellow, they don't even need another jersey. This could be home or away. I also know it's important to have that Miami word mark on their butt that they currently have, so I kept that for the new uniform. Now, they're called the Beaches, but they still need a mascot. Kind of like the Browns have that dog or an elf. No one knows what it means. Usually, football mascots are a little scary, so I wanted to pick a scary animal instead of a friendly dolphin. How about... A shark! I looked up what kind of sharks are in Miami. And one of the coolest is the hammerhead shark. Completely underutilized in the mascot world, if you ask me. I don't know why. So I took a photo of the hammerhead shark 
and made a silhouette out of it to match the silhouette of the palm trees. Look how strong that looks. I think it looks great on the helmets. I love how aggressive it is. Then, to tie the whole thing together, I put it on the pants. Just an overall thick, strong look. Well, there you have it. I fixed every AFC East team's uniforms. You're welcome. Nike, don't try to steal any of these. I might do the NFC East next, I don't know. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. Bye for now!